As Intrepid Studios continues to progress towards Alpha 2, we have seen a lot of content brought through in the last year and a half, from character creators to world bosses to story arcs and class reveals. And it seems that things are really starting to shape up as we get closer and closer to that Alpha 2 testing we all dream of. But while a lot has been showcased, we have not seen nearly everything, and even some of the bigger systems haven't even been teased since Alpha 1. Arguably, the biggest system in Alpha 2 that we haven't seen is Nodes, and that reveal will be dropping in less than one week on August 31st. The Node system ties into literally everything in the game, from story arcs to spawn tables for NPCs and resources to unlocking dungeons and raids. This system is massive, and depending on how much is shown to us within this developer show, case could really show us how close or far away we are from actually testing the game. This stream was originally slated for the end of July, but the devs wanted more time on it, and we then all thought it was going to be dropping this Friday, August 25th, because the dev streams are normally the last Friday of the month. But we were wrong there too, as we'll be seeing the node showcase on the last Thursday of the month this time around. The nodes, though, are only one part of a massive puzzle that is supposed to make Ashes of Creation great. And keep in mind that the remaining systems and features about to be listed, although were once confirmed for Alpha 2, did not state if they'd be in there for the launch of Alpha 2, and could fall in line with the Summoner and Naval content on something that Intrepid plans to show us after the testing has already begun. Or they could be systems that, while we haven't had an update on them in a while, Intrepid may have decided to go a different route with them, so we may not be seeing them at all. It's hard to say. But first up, we're missing the two primary archetypes that will be shown in the beginning of Alpha 2. I say two because as I just mentioned, the Summoner will not be in for the start. Those other two though are the Rogue and the Bard. The Bard is probably one of the more anticipated of the two as it will be our first look on Intrepid's take at a buff support and something that we really don't see in MMOs a lot these days. But beyond that, Intrepid seems to be refreshing the classes as we saw with the updated Cleric this past month, making us realize the Fighter, Ranger, and Tank classes may need an updated look before the real test testing begins as well. There are also tons of zones we haven't seen for Alpha 2, pretty much most of the world map. All we've really seen on this is the Riverlands. We had a teaser for the Desert Biome last year, and we saw a small bit of the Tropics in Alpha 1, which I imagine saw some big improvements over the last two years since then. But otherwise, we have seen nothing on the Jundark, the Tabletop Mountains, or the Badlands. With Alpha 2 supposedly right around the corner, you would think we would start to see more of these biomes. There are also two races we have not seen the updated in-game models for, the Tolnar and the Renkai. The Renkai we originally saw a model for last year, but then they took a lot of player feedback and seemed to really redid this race from scratch. Where we go from this guy to this guy, which we've only seen in concept art so far, the orcs are definitely undergoing a massive makeover. The Tolnar we have not seen any model for whatsoever, and this race will be huge as it is really three different races in a way, because you can make them look beast-like, human-like, and even reptilian-like. We also haven't seen much on the artisan systems either. We saw a bit of gathering last year and a tiny bit of processing in the freehold stream, but beyond that, there is a massive amount of content behind this hidden to us, like the animal husbandry system, all of the crafting professions, the majority of the processing professions, and how crafting will actually work. There's been talks of crafting being more interactive and having players partake in minigame-like activities to complete armor, but beyond the tiny bit of gathering and processing we've seen, nothing has been revealed. We also have not seen any type of PvP since Alpha 1, which last gave us instance castle sieges. We know come Alpha Alpha 2 and launch, castle sieges aren't going to be instance events, but something that happens in the open world. They are events that allow for guilds to take control of castles to get unique perks that benefit the guild. There are also node sieges that can change an entire server up depending on the outcome of it, and then guild sieges as well, which can put guilds up against each other in various battles. Besides the Cyclops world boss and the entrance to Carfin, we've also seen node dungeons or raids or the mechanics behind them. This will be a huge part of player progression as these bosses are what will drop a lot of high high-end crafting material to make armor and weapons. They can also have impacts on these servers, such as a boss being killed and changing up the area or an environment. And they're really just a necessity these days when it comes to any MMORPG. Naval content is also something we haven't seen yet, and as I mentioned earlier, will not be in the start of Alpha 2. Naval content is probably in comparison to nodes with the scope of it in Ashes, with a massive part of the world being water, allowing for players to partake on naval activities, such as caravans, raiding, and deep sea fishing. 
so seeing these come together at some point will be a key moment in Ashes of Creation's development. But the biggest thing I want to hear is the music. We know composer Bear McCreary is composing for Ashes of Creation soundtrack, the same artist behind things such as God of War, The Walking Dead, and Amazon's Lord of the Rings show. And despite how a lot of people feel about that show, it has some pretty kick-ass fantasy music tied into it. But how much will we really hear in Alpha 2? We know that Steven said we may see a small glimpse of this music in testing, but most of it will be saved for the betas and launch. But regardless, it is something that I'm really interested in hearing in because music is a big part of the immersion of the world and something that can really set the tone for your next adventure. But as I said, while all of this has been confirmed for Alpha 2, it is subject to change and some of which could be things Intrepid holds off on until later in the testing. And this is only the beginning because there's even more content planned than what the wiki states that could be in Alpha 2 or beyond, such as PvP arenas, social organizations, religions, player run shops and stalls, the 64 class system, combat mounts, world progression, and much, much more. When you break the list down like this, it really makes it feel like Alpha 2 could be a lot further away than we think. But that does not mean that Intrepid is going to show us everything before the start of testing, even if it's ready, and it also does not mean that a lot of this won't be added as we progress through the Alpha 2 testing phases. But since you've made it this far into the video, be sure to click that subscribe button so you never miss an Ashes of Creation update, and comment down below your most anticipated Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 feature. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or you can just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.